जान लेना जान लेना जान लेना जान लेना जान लेना Hello people welcome back to the channel so when the character posters for malang had come out i wasn't too sure what to make of it they were very creative very colorful and had a unique look about them but putting all those posters together it seemed like the same old cliche storyline the trailer has come out today let's go and check it out and see if it is classy or cliche nice shots to live life from one high to another one high to another one high to another one high to another nice mixing editing is top notch good physique jaan lena mera maza hai maza hai maybe they should have named the movie jaan they've repeated that so many times it's a really good trailer and there is creativity behind it they've given some thought to how to make this trailer and it flows really well the transitions from one part to the other are really smooth so you don't feel that jerkiness which you see in most of the average trailers the lead stars look beautiful the scenery looks beautiful the camera angles are really really good the cinematography especially in the first part of the trailer it's really polished it's really crisp the second part of it which is the more darker side of the trailer i don't think that's as good don't get me wrong it's not bad but it's not as good as the first one and although the trailer is really good and you can see the effort that has gone behind creating this trailer and the creativity that's there it cannot mask that it is only skin deep the story jumps out as pretty average it looks like the same old love story gone wrong and then there is a revenge element that comes out there is scope for probably one twist which comes at the end when disha says this dialogue jaan lena mera maza hai but other than that it's fairly predictable uh, it's fairly ordinary but the trailer is really good you separate the two and then you see the movie i think it'll be fairly average it still gives scope for aditya rai kapoor to do something different he has been typecast as this chocolate hero and although he plays that part really well in the first part of the trailer i think it's the second part which is more interesting where he can show what else can he do anil kapoor will do his usual stuff there isn't a lot for disha to do in this one i'm more interested in seeing what kind of role and scope does kunal kemu has in this one uh, it's been a long while since he did anything meaty probably this is one but his part in the trailer is really really short and i think that will continue in the movie as well so not a bad trailer to start 2020 with it's creatively done something unusual it's not the typical t series trailer it is really polished and it does hold some promise but i think how cliche and how ordinary the story is even this good trailer cannot hide that let me know what you thought of the trailer write it down in the comments below don't forget to subscribe to the channel and share this video with your friends and family until next time bye bye